let's look at how you can ask a true false question in Alice. Because I want to keep my program organized, I'm going to create a new world method to ask this question. True, false, question. TF. I'm just going to use TF to stand for true, false. Now that I created my method, and if I want to ask the user for information, whether, uh, let's say, the rules of multiplication of multiplying a positive and a negative number, I need to create something to hold their answer. So that's what we call a variable. I can create a variable in this method to hold the answer, so I'm going to make a true false answer variable. Since it's true false, that means the type of value I'm going to hold is a boolean. I select OK, and now this variable is created, but this variable is not in my program. Next, in my program, what I want to do is I want to put this variable to hold the information, so I drag it down. Right now, I really don't want, what, uh, want a value of true or false, but I have to set it to something. So now I'm saying this variable true false is set to true. Really what I want to do is ask the user for information. In Alice, if you go to your world functions, in here there are all sorts of functions. And one function that you can use is they ask the user. You can ask for a number, yes or no, or a string. Well, if I'm choosing a true false type of question, I'm going to ask them a yes or no question. So I set the value of the variable equal to, let me save, I set the value Instead of true, I'm going to say, ask the user a question. I go down to other, and I can type in my question. Is a positive number times a negative number always positive? OK. So this is now going to ask the user that question. Whatever they put in, if they click yes or no, this variable is going to hold it. Now, after I get that information from the user, next I want to know if they put in yes or no. So if I go down here, I'm going to use an if else next. I'm going to say if, and what I want to know about is the true false answer. I want to know about what they put in here. So if their true false answer, if I click on this logic, equals true. What does that mean I'm going to do? So let's look. Is a positive number times a negative number always positive? Well, no, it's not. So if they answered yes, they answered true to this, they got it wrong. So maybe what I'll do is go to Paul Beadle, and I'll have him say, let me teach you the rules for multiplication. Then what I could do is create a method next, after he says this, to have them go learn the rules of multiplication. Else, that means they got it right, I can actually, let's say, Lennon Beetle. Great job. You know your rules. And maybe you can have a method that has them go celebrate. So that is how you set up your question to ask a true or false question to the user. Now, if I want to actually incorporate that method in my world, notice my world calls first method, I need to go to my world methods and drag true false question in. And now it's going to say, OK, go here, run this method. This method says, oh, Hold in this variable whatever the user answers to this question. Next it says, if this answer is true, do something else, do something because they didn't answer true. Now, I play it. Is a positive number times a negative number always positive? If I say yes, then the beetle says, let me teach you. So that is how you can implement a true-false question.